Hi everyone, I'm here with my sister Caitlin and my Dashwood puppy Mila and today we're going to show you how to do a French braid or French plait. We say French plait but seeing that we're in the States we should say French braid because I think that's what people call it and as we were talking about earlier when um, most of the time people laugh at the things that I say so I'm just trying to say things that people will understand. Um, I get comments in videos where people are like what are you saying? So. French braid. Um, Caitlin's going to show you what it looks like in the end. Um, kind of simple. Well, I don't know. I think if you don't know what you, if you don't know how to do it, it's probably a little bit more complicated, maybe a bit intimidating. But it's actually pretty easy to do. Obviously, I'm doing it on her hair, so it's different. Obviously, if you don't have someone to do your hair every morning, which I imagine most of you don't. Um, but I think conceptually, it gives you a good idea of how to do it, do it yourself, so you can practice um, if you see how it's done. Um, by someone else doing it on someone else's hair. So, um, yeah, if that's something that you want to learn about, keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is just brush the hair out. Um, Caitlin has fantastic long hair, which straight hair, which makes it really easy um, to plait or to braid, but her hair does tend to get a little bit knotty which will make it difficult as you go lower down the hair. So I'm just going to brush through it like that. Okay, so the, normally the most difficult step um, with a French plait is getting the, the beginning part um, nice and flat of your hair. So um, after brushing out Caitlin's hair, I'm taking a middle piece like this and just flattening it out. Luckily she has nice straight hair if you had to do this with my hair be a little bit more challenging um, and then this is the middle section that I'm going to take and then I'm going to start taking pieces from the sides and I hope my arms don't get in the way it's quite difficult to film it's from the sides there and I kind of alternate between pieces from the middle and pieces from the sides around around her head from her ears and that kind of thing so that you get a nice um, line of the hair coming up so as you can see, I'm taking a piece now from the outer bits, um, whilst always stabilizing it with the hand. Um, stabilizing hand is always going to hold two out of the three pieces of the braid. And I'm not super concerned about it being really neat because we actually want kind of more messy look. Um, otherwise, it's very prim and proper. And this, this can be complicated to do by yourself, obviously, when you can't see. I have the benefit of seeing, and I have two hands in the right kind of right direction. Um, but it does get easier with practice. Um, and another tip that I find helpful is that um, try and make the, keep the pieces of hair, the separate pieces, kind of even, um, if, you, if you want them all to be the same. Um, I started with quite a big piece right in the beginning. So just sort of instinctually I've used less hair for that particular piece when it comes around for its turn to get hair. Um, but And then the other pieces are more even. And then I have um, this Red Ken Shine Brilliance Shine Flash Glistening Mist, which is quite nice just to add. Um, I'm just going to shake it up just for the end. So I'm just going to spray some of this on. Close your eyes. Tell me left. Close your eyes. All right, and actually smells really nice. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. There we go. And then you can just loosen up some bits if you want it a little bit more relaxed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you don't want to look so perfect. All right. So maybe you can just tilt your head back a little bit so we can see the top. So that's the front. Uh, well, no, that's not the front. I guess that's the front part, but I mean, it all goes down and then um, all the way down. Okay, so that is the final look. Um, we've brought some hair down to the sides to make it a little, look a little bit softer. Um, and with a little bit of practice, you can actually do it by yourself very easily and quickly. Um, so we hope that you really enjoyed this video and we're hoping to do a few more looks um, for hair using braids and plaits and that kind of thing um, and we were thinking of doing a fish a fish braid 
um, a crown plait, crown braid, and just kind of uh, playing around with different looks. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below, and we will see you soon. Bye! We need a drink. <laughs> do you think we should have a glass of wine and do this? No. Why not? Because I think we can do it without the glass of wine. It's more fun. Okay, I hope my head's not chopped off this time. Right. Hi, baby. Okay. Can I? You can't see her. She's right. too low down. But she's comfy. Okay, we have to introduce her. Right, you ready? Yep. Hi, everyone. So I'm here today with my. <laughs> I'm not even laughing. Okay, okay.